Hey everybody, what's going on? This is George coming at you with another video. And hopefully you can hear me okay. I have the mic about uh, six inches away from me, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, um, so it's been a while since I've actually put my face on any of the videos. And um, I felt like this was kind of the occasion to do it. A couple of weeks ago, uh, I, would, I think about four or three weeks ago, I passed my uh, uh, Cisco certified entry level network technician certification uh, I guess I said certified I guess twice but uh, anyway so I got the CSENT uh, certification uh, by Cisco and it was something that I had been working on for months um, I was working on it for about a month uh, I went through CBT Nuggets videos and uh, I did a little bit of reading on the internet but then uh, I was going out there trying to get job interviews with uh, other companies. Uh, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm just about to graduate college in about a week, and there was a lot of uh, internships slash job opportunities to take out of state, and I applied for them. However, they were jobs that I didn't really desire. Uh, they weren't in networking or in server related uh, things, so it was more like data jobs, and that's not exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so anyways, I went ahead and put the CSENT on hold, and I decided to take a break from it. About two months later, I came back to it, studied for about a month, took the CSENT exam, and passed it the first time. And I'm so happy I did. Um, it's probably... I, I was so proud when I learned that I had uh, passed the CSENT exam. Like, it, it was... Like, look, I, I'm about to graduate from college. I guess I don't know how it's going to feel like the day that I actually get the degree uh, but the day that my Cisco certification certificate uh, came out and, the, and that same day that I knew that I got certified felt really good and um, it's indescribable you know because uh, it's something that I pretty much did on my own uh, other than you know CBT Nuggets it helped out a lot Jeremy if you're listening I'd like to thank you now uh, you, you did a really good job with your C CCNA videos and I'm looking forward to your uh, second version for the upcoming exam. So uh, I might be doing the CCMP as well. So what well, a lot of people ask me, uh, I have friends of mine also in the IT field uh, that ask me, you know, how did you do this? Uh, how did you manage to, to get the certification? Uh, a lot of my friends in college are, don't have any IT certifications at all. Um, or some that are expired and Cisco is the first one that I attempted knowing that it was a difficult one um, they thought it was pretty impressive so let me go ahead and try to share some of the things that I did that way I can maybe give back to the community and hopefully help you guys out in passing the exam so the first thing I did was like I said I got myself a, uh, a CBT Nugget subscription for $99 a month I paid for one month. I went through all the videos with uh, with Jeremy. However, I did not have any rack rental equip or rack equipment at all. I had uh, GNS3, and uh, I didn't feel like I was really learning too much. But I went through the videos, took notes and everything, and um, took some practice questions that I would find online. Just kind of th these questions that really didn't have much. Well, they were valid, but they weren't exact like they would be on the exam which is fine I mean practice questions are practice questions but uh, like I said I stopped and then when I decided to come back in I decided to before that I was gonna go ahead and buy myself some equipment so I bought myself uh, uh, two routers I bought myself the uh, two 2611 routers uh, with each of them with one uh, a 1T WIC card uh, of course, a serial adapter that's attached to both of them, the DCE DTE cable. Um, I got myself one more router uh, solely for the purpose of S using SDM uh, and also for, well, the CCNA requires trunking, pro trunking uh, ports on routers, so it's a good thing I got that as well. Uh, so I had that, uh, the 1721 router. Um, I had to buy a extra um, WAN interface card, but it was really not a WAN interface. It was just a uh, Ethernet. I think it's called a One ETH. I'm not. Don't don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure, but pretty much that 
1721 only has one fast Ethernet port, and I want to use it for um, for NAT and distributing my internet connection. So I decided to throw in one of those uh, extra module Ethernet ports, and that that worked just fine. And um, and I got myself one switch, the one switch, uh, the 2950 switches. It's a 24 port, and it worked just fine, 10 by 100. So that was what I used. Of course, I got my uh, USB to serial port connector for my computer here, because most computers don't come with serial connectors anymore. And of course, my rollover cables, a couple of crossover cables, straight through cables, and that was about it. Oh, and a net, uh, a USB to uh, Ethernet uh, network card. That that way I can have my internet going while I also have my computer connected to my home network and also to my lab. So that's how I separate the two. So once I got the equipment, I had a hard time trying to figure out how to get everything going. But uh, I found a website online. There's a lot of help, and I got somebody to help me out, and I was able to set up my uh, equipment. So now I was ready to go ahead and dive into the CCNA again. So I decided to look up Jeremy and pay for another month, and I did. And this time I actually went through the labs. I... Um, once I went through all of uh, all of Jeremy's stuff, I decided to go ahead and pick up a book and um, a lot of good reviews on the um, seventh edition of the CCNA. This is a uh, Tom Lamley's book, and uh, I picked this one up mostly actually for the CD that comes with it. Um, didn't prove to be that useful. There are some practice questions on there and some online flashcards, but other than that, um, nothing really useful in that CD, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but the book was really good. It's really down to earth, and although it may seem really big, it's actually quite readable. Um, I'm actually reading some of it right now because I am currently doing my CCNA, uh, which is scheduled for um, uh, Wednesday after, well, I guess not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. So yeah, after I finished reading the sections of the book that that were in the CSENT exam, uh, I looked up Chris Bryant, and I decided to buy his CCNA course, the Bryant Ad on the BryantAdvantage.com um, website. It was forty-four bucks. I thought it was worth it, so I bought it, and I went through all the CCNA content. After that, I felt really confident because he goes into detail about a lot of the things. I couldn't have done the CSENT without Jeremy. I really couldn't have done it because he really uh, made it. His personality, man, just just made it real unique, and I, he, it felt like he really cared about his students, and he just kept me entertained throughout the entire series. So I like to thank Jeremy for that. I like to thank uh, Chris Bryant for the in-depth that he uh, content that he goes into, and that definitely helped out with some of the more advanced questions that was presented to me on the CSENT exam. Uh, so yeah, well, once I did that. I said, okay, well now I'm going to go through everything, I'm going to um, kind of just try to go through practice questions, practice questions, practice questions. Uh, every day I would try and get on my routers and switches and start configuring different things. If I had trouble, the next day I'd do it again until I was absolutely, the until the labs became second nature, until it got to the point where I was just typing in things out of memory. So once I was ready, I decided to schedule my exam as soon as possible like it was a Monday that I said you know what I'm ready to schedule I scheduled it for Wednesday I didn't let much time pass in between then uh, it's tempting to want to schedule it a week ahead but once you think you're ready just try to schedule it as soon as you can so that's my recommendation and when you're in there be prepared to get everything taken away from you you can't wear watches which kinda of threw me off um, you can't take your wallet the only thing you can take is your ID ID and no pencils, no nothing. So, uh, one last thing: when they give you the uh, markers and the uh, this little board that they give you for uh, anything that you need to write down for the submitting questions, um, just make sure the markers work. So, really, I mean, just relax. You know, get a good night's sleep the day before the exam. If you know it, you know it. I mean, and if you don't pass the exam by a couple of points. I would say just reschedule it for maybe the week after that. You know, go home, study for a little bit. Don't get depressed about it. Uh, it's 125 bucks, and I know it's a little steep for some people, um, 
but I tell you, man, uh, I feel like this certification is worth it. And um, right after I finish up with the CCNA, uh, I plan to get some uh, Microsoft certifications, maybe the MCSA, um, perhaps the MCSE, uh, and also learn a little bit about Linux because uh, that's something that I know. Uh, Unix and Linux is is really is used out there in the corporate world, and that's something I need to learn about because uh, if that's the kind of thing I want to go into, it's good knowing a little bit about everything. And uh, you know, once I finish the CCNA and I feel like I really want to advance in networking, uh, perhaps I'll go for the CCNP, and then at that point uh, I'll become really valuable. At that point, so yeah, so that's just my advice, guys. If you guys have any advice for anybody else. Be sure to post it down below, and um, if you like the video, you know, a rating is much appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.